Here's a quick review of signal transduction, so getting a message from outside of the cell into the cell and having the cell respond to that message. We have those GPCRs where we have the G protein coupled receptors bound to a heterotrimeric G protein. The G alpha subunit is the one that's going to bind to GDP and exchange it for GTP upon response to the primary messenger, the signal relayed through the receptor. So the primary messenger, the hormone is going to bind to the receptor, cause the receptor to change shape. The change shaped receptor is then going to cause the G protein to change shape, to release its GDP and take up GTP. Once bound to GTP, well now it kind of it kind of exposes a binding site for adenylylcyclase. And so it's going to go, it's going to ditch that be, um, those beta and the gamma subunits, go and find the adenylocyclase and activate it. Adenylocyclase is then able to produce cyclic AMP, our second messenger, which can then go activate things like protein kinase A, which can activate other things. Alternatively, it can go in and it can activate protein lipase C, which is basically going to lead to the production of IP3 and DAG, which are then going to act through a different pathway. We can also have our receptor tyrosine kinases. Here, these are going to function as dimers. The ligand binds, activates autophosphorylation. Those dimers are going to phosphorylate one another and lead to signaling cascades through kinases, typically, as well as pathways that connect through other lipid-mediated functions. We also have our gated ion channels where things are going to open up in response to a stimulus. And we have things like steroids, which can just go directly into the nucleus and bind to receptors there to alter transcription. There's still a lot, 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 lot more that I didn't go into, but I, by kind of having an idea about the general logic, you can then go and look at pathway diagrams and kind of try to figure out what's going on and what might happen if you have mutations at different points, if you have agonists or antagonists, places you might want to see regulation, all that good stuff.